Hey soccer fans, big news today as Kola and Lambo is making a sensational return to the PSL after being without a club for over a year. The talented midfielder who last played for TS Galaxy during the 2022-23 season has finally found a new home with Marumo Gallants. And Lambo's exit from TS Galaxy wasn't smooth, involving a legal battle over delayed clearance and unpaid dues. After losing his case and being ordered to pay 120,000 rand, Mlambo's future looked uncertain. But now the 33-year-old has inked a one-year deal with Gallants, reuniting with coach Dan Malasela, with whom he previously worked at Chipper United. This move is a huge opportunity for Mlambo to prove his worth once again, and Gallants will benefit from his vast experience as they fight to stay in the top flight. Stay tuned as we follow Mlambo's journey back to the pitch. Diving into the truth behind Keegan Dolly's salary at Kaiser Chiefs. There's been a lot of buzz about Dolly supposedly earning over 1 million rand a month at Naturena since he joined from Montpellier back in 2021. But now Dolly himself is setting the record straight. In an exclusive chat with the Seer crew, Dolly revealed that the reported figures were way off the mark. While he admits he was well compensated, the exaggerated rumors caused tension within the club and even affected his personal life. Fans were frustrated, thinking he was being paid so much but not playing enough. Dolly, however, kept his focus on what he could control, his performance on the field. Now, looking sharp and ready to return to action, Dolly is eager to put these rumors behind him and get back to doing what he does best. All about Percy Tau and his shocking situation at Al Ali. Reports out of Egypt suggest things have gone from bad to worse for the Bafana Bafana star. After four successful years and over 10 trophies with the club, Tao's time in Cairo seems to be ending on a sour note. Tao reportedly demanded a massive 18 million rand payout for the remaining year of his contract if he's to leave the club. But Al Ali isn't having it. They've offered him half that amount and now they're threatening to freeze him out until his contract expires in June 2025. With Rulani Mokwena's Wydad Athletic keeping an eye on the situation, could Tao be headed to Morocco on a free transfer? The next few weeks could be crucial for Tao's future. What's up Amakosi faithful? It looks like Kaiser Chiefs are on the hunt for another midfield gem, and this time their sights are set on Amazulu's Shapang Maremi. After hitting a wall with Cape Town Spurs' Asanale Velabai, who proved too pricey for their budget, Chiefs are now focusing on the talented Maremi as a solid alternative. Insiders have revealed that Chiefs have been watching Maremi closely for a while and had previously shown interest, but competition from rivals like Mamelodi Sundowns and Orlando Pirates stalled the move. Now, with Velabai seemingly out of reach, Chiefs are back in the race to secure Maremi's signature. While they haven't completely given up on Velabai, Chiefs are playing it smart, not wanting to miss out on all their options. Could Shapang Maremi be the midfield diamond Amakosi need? Big transfer news coming out of Torkop as Mamelodi Sundown's Ethiopian forward Abu Baker Nazir is reportedly on the radar of Tanzanian giants Young Africans Yanga SC. Sources close to the club have revealed that Yanga SC has made an inquiry about Nazir, aiming to secure his signature before the transfer window slams shut. With Nazir seemingly not in Sundown's plans for the upcoming season, the Brazilians are open to letting him go either on loan or a permanent deal depending on the offer. However, the main hurdle appears to be the financial aspect, as Nazir still has a contract with Sundowns. If Yanga can meet Sundowns halfway, we might just see this talented forward donning the Yanga SC colors soon. Stay tuned as we keep you updated on this developing story. Will Nazir make the move to Tanzania? Let's wait and see. In the PSL transfer market, Sekukan United has entered the heated race to sign one of the league's most sought-after defenders, Ismail Torre. The 26-year-old Stellenbosch FC centre-back has been making headlines lately, with his future at the club hanging in the balance. Sources reveal that Torre has missed training sessions and was notably absent from Steli's recent CAF Confederation Cup match against Insengizini Hotspurs. It's believed he's trying to force a move away from the club, with multiple PSL giants like Kaiser Chiefs and Supersport United already expressing interest. Now Sekukan United has thrown their hat in the ring, eager to bolster their squad with Torre's experience, especially for their own CAF Confederation Cup campaign. But with Torre still under contract at Stellenbosch, it remains to be seen how this transfer saga will unfold in the coming days. In a surprising turn of events, Kaiser Chiefs have reportedly made the tough decision not to register their Mozambican defender, Edmilson Dorver, for the upcoming season. Dorver suffered a severe Achilles tendon injury during pre-season training in Turkey, which could sideline him for at least six months. With the injury keeping him out of action for such a long period, Amakosi have decided it's in the best interest of the team to leave Dorver off the roster this season. Sources reveal that Chiefs are keen on signing two new foreign players, including a defender, and need to free up space on their foreign quota. This decision comes as Chiefs continue their search for a replacement, with attempts to sign Stellenbosch FC's Fawaz Basadine reportedly falling through. The club has also been linked with Amazulu's Rian Hanamub, who impressed during the Africa Cup of Nations. An agreement has been reached for Cassius Melula to join a new club, 
and an official announcement is expected this week. Sources close to the deal have confirmed that the 23-year-old, who has struggled for game time at Toronto FC since his move from Mamelodi Sundowns, is set to make a move. Mailila's former coach at Sundowns, Rulani Mokwina, has been keen on reuniting with the talented forward at Wydad Casablanca. Despite interest from Croatian club HNK Gorica, it appears that Melula is set to don the colours of Wydad this season. The final details are being wrapped up, and the deal could be finalised as soon as today. With Melula excited about the move and Mokwina eager to strengthen his squad, this transfer could be a game-changer for both the player and the club. In a major update, former Mamelodi Sundowns coach Rulani Mokwina has revealed that a reunion with Bongdani Zungu at Wydad Casablanca is a real possibility. Zungu, who recently parted ways with Sundowns, is currently a free agent and has been on the radar of several top clubs. Mokwina, now at the helm of Wydad Casablanca, expressed his admiration for Zungu, calling him an incredible footballer and human being. The coach admitted that bringing Zungu to Morocco is something they are seriously considering, although it's more complicated than it seems. Zungu, who played a key role in Sundown's success, including their historic African Football League win, could now be on his way to join Mokwina for a new chapter in his career. With Mokwina also eyeing a reunion with Percy Tao, Wydad could become a powerhouse with these potential signings.